What's going on smart people? I have my final exam for Quantum 2 in two days, so I thought I'd make a quick short video today talking about what's going to be on it. The first of which is time independent perturbation theory, which is an approximate method of solving the Schrodinger equation, where you say the solution is, well, it's the part that you know the answer to, plus some correcting terms. One of the limitations of this, though, is that you need to have an unperturbed Hamiltonian such that the higher order corrections become exponentially smaller meaning it's converging to the right answer. The second thing that can be on the exam is variational methods, which is a way of finding an upper bound on the ground state energy. And you do this by guessing a wave function, um, hopefully not too arbitrarily, and it's gonna have some tweakable parameter. And what you do is you find the expectation value of the Hamiltonian on that, what you call the trial wave function, and that's gonna give you the upper bound of the energy and you can minimize that upper bound, meaning you can get it closer and closer to the actual ground state by minimizing that expectation value with respect to that uh, tweakable parameter. The third thing is finding direct product states, which I'm really not going to try to explain in this video because I know a lot of people that watch these videos uh, haven't had any quantum yet, and I don't think I could do an explanation any justice. Um, just know that it's really useful for adding angular momentum together. I might put a picture of an equation or something so that you can see what it looks like, but I'm not going to try to explain it here. Maybe tomorrow's vid. I don't know. And then the last thing is probably going to be some Fermi gas stuff, so calculating Fermi energy, degeneracy pressure, things like that. A lot of, I guess, Fermi statistics. And in order to study for all of that stuff, all I've been doing is uh, going over my previous homework assignments, previous exams, as well as my professor's lecture notes. During the last exam for quantum, I spent too much time using Griffiths as a reference, whereas and Griffiths just doesn't cut it sometimes for the more in-depth material. So I'm definitely going to be focusing on my professor's lecture notes. It's things that he has explicitly said is important, so um, that's going to be more my strategy for this final. But I'm going to get back to studying. I should be back to posting regular length videos this weekend, you know, after the quantum final. So let me know in the comment section if there's a particular video that you want to see. And I'll see you guys there.